to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Madam Clerk, take the roll, please. Trustee Geyer. Here. Trustee Sperling. Here. Trustee Bauman. Here. Trustee Youngerman. Here. Trustee Marisek. Here. Trustee Betzinger. Here. Thank you. Uh, President Brawley is unavailable this evening, but we do have quorum with the six of us here. We will move on to the next section of the agenda, which is the public participation. If there is any member of the public here in attendance that would like to address the board. Okay, don't see anyone moving. Anyone online? Do we have anyone online? Um, did we receive any comments? We did not receive any comments via phone or email. Okay. We will then move on to the consent agenda. Minutes of the Village Board meeting of July 25th, 2022. Accounts payable through August 8th in the amount of $1,066,783.01. Accounts receivable for July 2022. Building report for July 2022. Water production report for July 2022. And ordinance 1972 amending village code section 3-9 to grant a Class G liquor license for Hacienda El Dorado Mexican Restaurant. We'll entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Move by Youngerman, second by Marisek. Take the roll, please. Mm -hmm. Trustee Youngerman. Yes. Trustee Marisek. Yes. Trustee Betzinger. Yes. Trustee Geyer. Yes. Trustee Sperling. Yes. Trustee Bauman. Yes. Okay, carries, thank you. Moving on to items for separate action. Our first item is award of contract to All Services Contracting, Inc in the amount of $43,519 for cleaning of the air stripper tower at the lime softening water treatment plant. Director Wolf. Thank you, Trustee Sperling. So as you mentioned, uh, the village is looking for approval tonight for the uh, contract for the cleaning of the air stripper. Uh, the lime softening plant was put into service in 1989. Uh, there have been cleanings done since that period, but uh, we're well past the 10 year mark, so this is a maintenance item. Uh, has been performed by village staff in past years, but uh, in talking with uh, former staff members, it's quite a labor intensive project. Uh, therefore, this was an item that we had budgeted uh, in the current fiscal year uh, to be done. Uh, we solicited an RFP. Uh, we received one uh, bid back from all services. They are a contractor that just recently performed work for the village on the uh, well 14 and 15 media replacement in which we were very satisfied with their uh, work. And so therefore we're asking for approval tonight for the $43,519. If there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them at this time. Any questions for Director Wolf? Any discussion? Motion to approve. Second. Moved by Geyer, second by Marisak. Take the roll, please. Trustee Geyer. Yes. Trustee Sperling. Yes. Trustee Bauman. Yes. Trustee Youngerman. Yes. Trustee Marisek. Yes. Trustee Betzinger. Yes. Thank you, that carries. Moving on to the next item, resolution 2022-014, authorizing the execution of a master license agreement between Everstream GLC Holding Company, LLC, and the Village of Montgomery for use of a village right-of-way. Director Wolf. Thank you, Trustee Sperling. So Everstream GLC Holding Company reached out to the Village of Montgomery looking to procure uh, right-of-way permits to install fiber network uh, throughout the village. Um, Everstream is a company that provides um, fiber network only to businesses. They are not in the residential market, uh, but they are looking to uh, add services to the Village of Montgomery to be able to expand uh, their net network operations. Um, they have already achieved um, some large permitting tasks such as an IDNR uh, permit that they've acquired for the crossing of the Fox River. Um, I've been working with Attorney Julian on uh, researching Everstream and also drafting the uh, master license agreement that's before you tonight. So if there are any questions, uh, myself or Attorney Julian can answer those. Any questions or discussion? I want to entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Moved by Geyer, second by Youngerman. Take the roll, please. Trustee Geyer. Yes. Trustee Sperling. Yes. Trustee Bauman. Yes. Trustee Youngerman. Yes. Trustee Marisek. Yes. Trustee Betzinger. Yes. And that carries, thank you. Oops, I moved this out. Moving on to item C, 
professional service agreement with EEI in the amount of $63,212 for design engineering for the 2023 GAP implementation project. Director Wolf. Thank you, so a presentation was given to the board uh, March 14th mm -hmm. to summarize the GAP plan. Ideally, we do uh, one GAP plan obviously per year. Uh, due to some unforeseen circumstances, such as the local 150 strike. Uh, this year, we've decided to try to move forward with uh, combining two years. We think that it's gonna give us uh, better quantities as far as pricing goes uh, in few for putting this out to bid. Um, therefore, we are looking to combine the 2022 and 2023 years of the gap plan, um, and we'll be looking to construct those uh, in the budgeted, uh, budgeted within the uh, fiscal year 24 budget. So. Uh, if there's any questions, I am happy to answer those at this time or uh, Engineer Ott or Engineer Wallers. Any questions or discussion? Yep. Uh, so you think that now that that strike is over, what work could get done the rest of this year is not going to be more expensive by pushing that to 2023? Actually, I think um, I can let uh, Engineer Ott, he's been a little bit more uh, engulfed in, in the 150 strike, but basically what we're seeing now is the delays uh, that were caused in that and conversations that I've had with the contractors are that a lot of this work wasn't bid uh, for overtime uh, that they currently have on the books. So they're really gonna be struggling to get that uh, work uh, commenced before the end of those contracts expire. So I think if we were to go out to bid now, um, trying to get target stuff for the end of the year, I think we could actually see a higher price than when things start to subside um, going into next year, because obviously by that point, the quarries will have caught up um, and it won't be as much of an issue because there's a restocking issue currently right now. Thanks. When would we send this out for bid? It, like, I know years ago we changed the way that we bid the uh, infrastructure roadway improvements as far as sending them out to bid, I think maybe December, January-ish. Are we doing that with this as well? Do you feel that we'll get better pricing? So I, again, I can defer to... <coughs> The, the goal would be to bid this out probably a couple weeks after the IRP with the goal that whoever gets the concrete work for that project would be incentivized to stay in town and get the concrete work for this project as well. So okay. they'll probably be bid end of January, early February, okay. uh, consistent with the IRP. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anything further? Motion to approve. Second. Moved by Geyer, second by Marisek. Take the roll, please. Trustee Geyer. Yes. Trustee Sperling. Yes. Trustee Bauman. Yes. Trustee Youngerman. Yes. Trustee Marisek. Yes. Trustee Betzinger. Yes. And that carries. Thank you very much. Moving on to item D, ordinance 1976, approving an amendment to a redevelopment agreement to induce the redevelopment of the Orchard Road Redevelopment Project Area, uh, Transline Inc. Director Apt. Uh, yes, uh, as you recall, at your last meeting on July 25th, you approved an uh, incentive agreement for Transline for a total of $350,000. <clears> at the meeting, they came in well, I'm asking for some additional funding. Um, they provided us some details on what that was, and we have um, an amendment to that agreement before you that would increase the amount to $433,948.52. Um, this um, increased amount is for the Rochester Drive improvements, which was reduced from $150,000 to $148,252.92, um, increased for soil removal, doing a true 50-50 split based on um, the estimates or pricing that they got back. So that would go up from $200,000 to $238,695.60, and also for the additional expenses related to the private fire loop with the RPZ and enclosure. Um, which they're estimating at $30,000 and um, architectural and engineering fees related to these items um, up to $17,000. So that's how we get to the new number of $433,948,000. Um, you have the amendment before you that includes those additional items in it and increases the amount to that 433000 number. So, And we, they do have their attorney on the phone. If you do have specific questions, I can allow him to speak um, and he can try to answer any questions uh, for the development. Any further comment or discussion on this item or questions? Do I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Moved by Geyer, second by Marisek. Take the roll, please. Trustee Geyer. Yes. Trustee Sperling. Yes. Trustee Bauman. Yes. Trustee Youngerman. Yes. Trustee Marisek. Yes. Trustee Betzinger. 
carries. Thank you very much. Moving on to item E, ordinance 1975, approving an economic incentive agreement by and between the village of Montgomery, Kane and Kendall counties, Illinois and Alcott Road LLC. Director Apt. Um, yes, uh, back in February, you guys approved variances for two proposed truck terminals that are gonna be located there at the northeast corner of Alcott and Commerce. Um, they have requested TIF assistance um, to develop this property for their terminals. The uh, ordinance attached, uh, formalizes that agreement with an incentive agreement. Um, they're saying that they're gonna be about a total of $25 million to build these two buildings and do the site improvements. Uh, according to this agreement, we will reimburse up to $325,000 in expenditures in connection with the project that are eligible. Um, eligible items include soil remediation, uh, RPZ and enclosure related to the private fire loop, soil removal, retaining wall, and detention. Um, Per the agreement, uh, they agree to complete the, to commence construction by March 31st of 2023, complete construction and obtain occupancies by March 31st, 2025. Um, a temporary or permanent certificate of occupancy must be issued before any TIF funds can be distributed for the redevelopment project. And uh, their representative is here as well to answer any questions that you might have. Any questions or discussion on this item? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Moved by Marisek, second by Youngerman. Take the roll, please. Trustee Marisek? Yes. Trustee Betzinger? Yes. Trustee Geyer? Yes. Trustee Sperling? Yes. Trustee Bauman? Yes. Trustee Youngerman? Yes. And that carries, thank you. Uh, moving on to item F, F and G are related, but uh, why don't we take those one at a time? <coughs> Item F is resolution 2022-015, accepting public improvements, existing water main relocation in the Montgomery Business Center. Director Apt. Uh, yes, so um, the owner has relocated uh, the water main that goes through Montgomery Business Center that would go through uh, lot seven of unit two. So they've reloca relocated that and it's heading north to connect up to uh, where it's stubbed in over at Commerce and uh, well, I guess at the end of commerce. Um, eventually, this will be abandoned as well, and the new water main will go through when Nell Road is extended to come through and connect to Commerce Drive. But in the meantime, this is operational. EEI recommends acceptance of it. We have a couple of outstanding items related to the as-built coming and getting reviewed. But other than that, we have everything that we need to accept this water main. So we're looking for the board's acceptance of this. Any questions? Motion to approve. Second. Moved by Geyer, second by Marisek. Take the roll, please. Trustee Geyer? Yes. Trustee Sperling? Yes. Trustee Bauman? Yes. Trustee Youngerman? Yes. Trustee Marisek? Yes. Trustee Betzinger? Yes. That carries, thank you. Uh, item G, resolution 2022-016, approving the release of a village water main easement uh, Montgomery Business Center Unit 2, Director Act. Um, yes, as I said, they've installed the new water main. Uh, they have abandoned the existing water main that ran through uh, lot seven of unit two and connected up to Commerce Drive. So we are look they're looking for us to release our rights to operate and maintain an easement on that property. So the resolution would um, allow us to do that and then um, that will allow them to close on the properties um, in the near future. Any questions? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Moved by Geyer, second by Bowman. <laughs> Take the roll, please. Trustee Geyer? Yes. Trustee Sperling? Yes. Trustee Bowman? Yes. Trustee Youngerman? Yes. Trustee Marisek? Yes. Trustee Betzinger? Yes. And that carries, thank you very much. Uh, we have no items for discussion. <coughs> oh, thank you. And uh, we'll move on to new or unfinished business. Uh, this evening, I'll start to my right. Trustee Geyer? No, nothing. Trustee Bauman? I just want to state that um, last week, National Night Out, um, I really enjoyed it. Chief Smith, I think you've, your staff, you and your staff are just phenomenal. Uh, the interaction they had with the community, the way they ran it, um, it's just a great <coughs> positive experience, though. Thanks. So thanks to you and pass on to your staff. Just. Um, my appreciation for their involvement in the community. Great. Thank you. Trustee Youngerman. 
I second what uh, Trustee Bauman said, Chief. Um, I also have a couple items. Um, Director Wolf, can you give us an update on 30 and Orchard Intersection? And kind of, uh, for how many lanes, what direction? Can you kind of go through that real quickly of, of what's going to happen? So the overall plan, um, you know, I can't speak to, I haven't looked in quite a while, to be perfectly honest. Obviously, it's not a village project. Um, my understanding is there'll be dual turn lanes um, on Orchard Road, uh, southbound, that'll allow for traffic to turn and go eastbound onto 30, and then there'll also be a right turn lane added southbound uh, for traffic to turn and go westbound on, on Route 30. Uh, the majority of the improvements are on the King County side, hence uh, why King County is the lead organization on the project. Um, so there's also uh, new signals being installed, pedestrian crossings being installed, um, that's extensions of the sidewalk obviously as part of that on both uh, the east and west side of the intersection are all uh, portions of the project that are, that are taking place. So um, that's what I can speak to at this time as far as scheduling goes. Uh, obviously, uh, with the weather has impacted them a little bit here lately, but as far as I've heard uh, in the construction meetings that I've attended, there has not been a change in the final uh, estimated time frame uh, for completion, which is October of this year. Um, even though there were delays that were caused due to uh, the, the signal equipment uh, being delayed as part of the uh, project, but as far as I know right now, October is still the deadline uh, for that project. Is there an additional, I guess not an additional, but is there a turn lane being implemented 30 eastbound on the west side of Orchard? Or I would. On, on the, uh, yeah, on the west side of Orchard. They've excavated for that. Are they just shifting lanes over? That's more than likely a temporary pavement for the lane shifts <clears throat> to accommodate. Um, but again, I can review the plans again and, and follow up with you on that. The changes that they're doing, the Kane County and Montgomery, are, because we've got some skin in the game here as well. Um, if and when 30 ever gets widened, um, are the pieces and parts that we're putting in now, do they remain or will that have to be all reconstructed again? That might be a better question for Pete um, and it probably has been some time since we've seen anything from them. So the ultimate improvement is going to include uh, replacement of the bridge at uh, Blackberry Creek. So I expect that east or the um, west leg is going to um, probably be completely replaced. Uh, whether or not sections of the north and south and the, and the uh, east legs can be uh, salvaged or not will be up to the final design. They'll go through a demolition plan and decide if the existing pavements are thick enough because uh, they'll go through, they'll go back to the original phase one uh, traffic projections and make sure that the um, pavement is set for, to meet those demands. Um, what's in there now is a little bit of leftover from the original project. So my suspicion would be it's gonna get removed and replaced, but okay. we won't know that until they do final design. Uh, question for you, um, where are we in the widening of Route 30 with state and federal? Have, uh, what are they doing? Uh, you know, Representative Wheeler continues to lobby IDOT on our behalf. Uh, President Brawley has met with IDOT and Representative Wheeler, so we continue to push it, but I mean, the state currently says there's not funding for it. We are not in the multi-year plan, so. I've talked to Linda Holmes, I've talked to Wheeler, I've talked to Lauren Underwood, I've talked to Scott Greider, I've talked to Kifowit, I've talked to Foster. Um, who else is there to talk to? Illinois Lottery. I mean, come on. Um, my other question, can you give us an update on the, uh, the infrastructure roadway improvements when they're gonna be doing final paving? I can't, so they are set to start paving again tomorrow. Uh, they'll be starting final lifts in areas in front of the police department, uh, Gordon, or I'm sorry, Griffin 
and uh, Schmidt Drive. Uh, they'll then be working, the plan is now obviously weather dependent, but Thursday and Friday they'll be paving at the police department, finalizing the lot there, and then they'll be moving to the south side of 30, working their way from uh, the east to the west, and then final uh, paving will take place on Ashland and Nell, will be the two last streets. Thank you. Anything else? No, Montgomery Fest is coming up. Um, staff has been working really hard um, to get everything put together. Looking forward to another good fest. Added some new food vendors. Got some great bands. Some bands on Friday night and Sunday before the parade. So we got a couple of new things coming. Car show is now on Saturday with a little extended hours. Fireworks are still on Sunday night. Okay. And all new carnival. Sorry. New carnival vendor, yes. New carnival vendor this year. Okay. Tom? Uh, I have two quick items. I uh, just want to say thank you for uh, working with the post office. They have done the patching, and I feel like a lot of the treacherous obstacles have been removed. Uh, however, I do want us to still stay on them to get the whole thing cleaned up and, and looking much better. But I believe the hazards are gone. There were some pretty deep holes there to walk through. Uh, so I appreciate that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was that the Rotary Club installed a little free pantry here in the Village Hall. It is in the front entry along River Street. Um, I was hoping we could put something in the next uh, newsletter for the uh, that goes out with the water bills. Um, however, I do think that people have seen it and been using it because I do see uh, we, we stocked it pretty well initially and uh, it looks like uh, people have been uh, taking what they needed, so uh, we're glad to do that. And that's all I have. Okay, will you talk about the meetings? Because I have to talk to Sure. <laughs> uh, you can see the upcoming meeting schedule. Beautification uh, for August 10th is canceled. Committee of the Whole for the 16th is canceled. And InterGov and the Village Board meeting on Monday the 22nd, the day after the fest, is canceled. Let's give everybody a little time off. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I needed help with that. Okay, we are going to go into executive session. We will not be coming back, uh, so we will adjourn after, um, after this. But we are going into executive session to discuss the setting of a price for sale or lease of property owned by the village pursuant to 5 ILCS 120-2C6. And also for the purchase or lease of real property, which is, for, for, I'm sorry, sale, purchase, or lease of real property uh, pursuant to 5 ILCS 120 slash 2 C5. Got it. Okay. I will entertain a motion to adjourn so the meeting. Moved. Second. Moved by Youngerman, second by Bauman. Take the roll, please. Trustee Youngerman. Yes. Trustee Marisek. Yes. Trustee Betzinger. Yes. Trustee Geyer. Yes. Trustee Sperling. Yes. Trustee Bauman. Yes. All right. We are adjourned. Thank you very much.